both the International Criminal Court and the International Court of Justice are currently working on cases seeking justice for Rohingya. Both are permanent courts located in The Hague, Netherlands. Let's look at the differences between the two courts. The ICJ is part of the United Nations and was created in 1945, whereas the ICC is an independent court established in 2002. The ICJ focuses on disputes between UN member countries who have signed international treaties. In the Rohingya context, Gambia has brought a case against Myanmar for violating the Genocide Convention. The ICC can only act when a country's court is unable or unwilling to prosecute and punish those responsible for serious crimes like genocide, crimes against humanity and war crimes. But the ICC only has jurisdiction over countries who have signed the Rome Statute. Myanmar has not signed the Rome Statute, but Bangladesh has. As a result, the ICC case is looking into the crimes faced by Rohingya in Myanmar, which led to their deportation into Bangladesh. One of the main differences between the two courts is who they can judge. The ICJ can hear disputes between countries, not individuals. The ICC punishes individuals, mainly high-ranking officials accused of serious crimes like genocide or crimes against humanity. Victims can only participate in ICJ if the court allows or requests so, whereas the ICC has a full process for victims to participate, either as witnesses or by submitting their observations to the court. See our ICC victim participation video for more details. Whatever the ICJ declares, the Myanmar government is bound to comply with. If they fail to comply, the UN Security Council can unanimously take appropriate measures, including sanctions and diplomatic and economic pressure against Myanmar. Once sufficient evidence has been collected during investigation, the ICC can issue arrest warrants for the accused officials to hold a trial, that is, to decide their guilt. But the ICC is reliant on countries, including Myanmar, to arrest these individuals, as ICC does not have its own police. If individuals are found guilty, they can be sentenced to up to 30 years or life imprisonment. Watch our video, Summary of Legal Actions on behalf of the Rohingya, for more details on what is currently happening in the cases in both these courts.